Hello guys, today we'll have a video inspired by another YouTube video on the official Laravel channel by Christoph Rumpel. There's a video getting started with Laravel Reverb. But we won't talk about Reverb this time, we will talk about this specific line that I've seen in this video. And I noticed something that I haven't used before. And yes, there are a lot of Laravel features that I haven't used myself. I don't know everything and I learn as I go, same like you guys. So, find or new. Have you seen that before or is it just me? And I will show you the approach on how to research the method that you've seen for the first time. So what does it do? What are the parameters and what does it return and stuff like that? First, of course, you should look in the official Laravel docs. But if we do that, find or new, it is mentioned in the eloquent relationships, but the link doesn't lead us directly. So there's this, just mention of find or new but there are no parameters mentioned or exact syntax. Then, of course, you can Google and find some tutorials, but the only tutorial I actually found was first or new on Laravel News, so it's not actually the same. So the first source is the docs, the second source is tutorials and just Googling, and then the third source is actually the source. And in general, it's very beneficial to sometimes go to a Laravel framework on GitHub and search for something and here if we type find or new we do have that in the eloquent builder we click that and here's the actual method so what it does it returns the model if it finds it otherwise it creates a new model instance and why it may be beneficial let's take a look at the original situation by Krista. so he's comparing the user id to the orders user id an order may not exist. So this becomes kind of a shortcut to avoid if statement for order find, if order then take user ID. And there's another syntax to achieve similar thing in Laravel, which is optional helper. If we go to the documentation of helpers, optional will take the arguments and if they are null, they will return null instead of causing an error, which may be used with user find as well. But the additional benefit in find or new is the additional parameter, for example. So I've tried to play it around with it in my tinker well. So for example, if I call find or new on the existing user and just get the email, I get the result. And if we take a look at what SQL queries are executed, it's select from users. Now, if I change that to non-existing user ID, I launch and the result is null, but it doesn't throw any errors if the user does not exist. And just out of curiosity, what is the result of the actual find or new? It's an empty user object without any data inside. So yeah, this is the thing I wanted to show you, but not that much about find or new specifically, but in general, how to think about some method or some class or helper that you've seen somewhere and you don't know exactly how it works. So how to search for it in the docs and the tutorials and in the source. And I will link that original video in the description below so you can watch the full Getting Started with Laravel Reverb by Christoph Rumpel. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.